Now, listen, you know that I love you, right? I, I'm not subjecting you to a poetry slam because I don't like you. I'm, I'm doing this to entertain, to inform, to enlighten, to uh, educate. All right, I may be doing it to mock the uh, guy reading the poetry a little bit, too. Uh, Zachary Caballero was a uh, contestant at the uh, Austin Poetry Slam, the 2011 Austin Slam Championship. And uh, oh, the gun control advocates, they found a, a new celebrity in Zachary Caballero because he wrote a poem about Campus Carry. And as you might imagine, a member of the Austin Slam team, probably not in favor of Campus Carry. So, uh, so here's Zachary Caballero's poem about uh, <clears throat> your rights and why they don't matter. Now, there is a little bit of a music intro here. We'll just go ahead. Go ahead and start playing. We'll... Because it sounded like it was a happening place there at the Austin uh, Poetry Slam. All right, here he is. Without further ado, Zachary Caballero! At Texas, there are politicians that want guns on campus. Put a bullet into our pockets and call us, say, what do you think? In a world where school shootings stem up from empty barrel garters, we water the pot with gunpowder and gasoline and pray nobody strikes a match. <laughs> you can wrap the Second Amendment around our textbooks and call us bulletproof if you want to, but what's the use in putting every eligible finger in front of a trigger when we can't even handle one loose cannon? Virginia Tech still closes her eyes every time they hear a boom, do you really oh. want to find out if we bleed orange? Mine's going to be a bullseye over the towers, you know what you're aiming at. I want to prevent fear, not invent more ways to feel it with all these budget cuts. What are you going to do when someone loses it? And the license to kill, I mean, the license to conceal. Has the university seal stamped on top of it, tombstones ain't cheap. You can't cheat on tests. And how do you expect us to cheat death in the state of Texas? It's telling us to put our guns up, but this is not Texas Tech. There's a fundamental difference between promoting safety and stopping violence. On the sixth floor, of the Perry Castaneda Library, 21 guns saluted Colton Tooley back into his mother's arms. You feel the bullet get a piece of you too. Do you really want our campus turned to a dead zone where students shape shift into zombies and stale skeletons shoot up every time a gun goes off? My God, how high caliber of a campus do you want? This isn't about civil rights. About placing constitutional liberties in the hands of students who haven't taken their first government class yet. How do you expect to protect the student body while bodies are at stake? One of the triggers, all it takes to break 50,000 hearts. My biggest fear is losing my best friend to a state of proof bullet. What would you do if it was you? Would it break the news to that mother or that father that when they speak of their child, their baby from now on will have to be in the past tense if this bill is passed. Your A-OK -okay in the past to recreate itself. 1966 still sticks to our history like a bloody thumbprint we don't want credit for. Since when? That we become so full of fear and build guardrails around our bodies. Sometimes you have to believe in people blindly. There's still good inside of our guts, but we sacrifice all of our grace when we replace our faith with firearms. What starts here changes the world. But you can't see the world clearly when you're looking through a crosshair. You cross pollinate fear and panic with a thumbs up trigger. You give the go ahead to those who solve their conflict with more chaos. Wait. The twin is the solution, the same thing as the contradiction. It's contradictive, it's a conflict of interest. Not with our best interest at heart. See, the only problem we're fixing is finding those people who have run out of reasons to resolve their problems peacefully and peacefully point them in the right direction. Let's go! Until then, go. you may rest in peace to my peaceful state of mind. And to the 82nd legislator, the bullseye of Texas is upon you. Yeah, man. All right. <clears throat> you know, I, <laughs> I'm i sorry, Mr. Caballero. Uh, the, the entire time you were reading your uh, poem, I kept thinking about one thing. He wants you back! He screams into the night air like a fireman going to a window that has no fire. Except you, the passion of his heart. Because you can't compete with Mike Myers. I am lonely. It's really hard. This poem sucks. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, I've got a, I got a little something. Uh, that it just, it's, it's coming to me. Um, 
I don't know if we have any musical. Foolish little cowboy man, still so many things you just don't understand. Your desire for peace, it ain't universal, and not every stranger wants to be your best pal. I realize it didn't really rhyme. You say students shouldn't exercise rights without a class. Well, I look forward to next election day with you sitting on your couch. Or does this only apply to rights that you don't like, like owning a gun or showing support for the right? Before you assume everyone is just like you, scared of a chipmunk, squirrel, or a shrew, know that there are millions of right to carry holders. And in Texas right now, they're all 21 or older. If you learn nothing else, please take this to heart. It's not the perfect argument, but at least it's a start. Whether you are a caballero or a naive waif, a no guns allowed sign won't keep you safe. Thank you very much. I'm very proud of that. Can we put that up on YouTube? Because that really does need to go up on YouTube. All right. 49 after the hour here on NRANews.com and Sirius XM Patriot. Uh-huh. Lawrence <laughs> in Vernon Hills, Illinois says, Cam, just tune in. Let me guess. The people were forced to pay for this uh, art. Well, not 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 mine. I mean, you well, yeah, you if you subscribe to Sirius, you were probably paying for it. But uh, no, I, I I don't believe that this was taxpayer subsidized. I could be wrong. It is Austin, Texas we're talking about, but uh, I I'm pretty sure that uh, no tax dollars were used in the making of that uh, <clears throat> anti-gun poetry slam. All right. Uh, <laughs> I told you, I told you last hour that we had not reached the uh, epitome of silliness on the program tonight. I, but, that, that, you know, again, I mean, what, what did this guy say? I realize it's, it's, it's a poem. But seriously, you don't want people to exercise in a constitutional right until they've taken a class in government. Whoa. Okay, what about people who are writing letters to the editor? What about people who are, uh, you know, exercising their right to peaceably assemble? Should you have any sort of political rallies on uh, the campus of the University of Texas at Austin? Unless, you know, the people have been pre-screened and they've, they've taken their intro to uh, a government class. They've, 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 they've got their civic certificate. Then and only then, Mr. Caballero, can people uh, exercise their constitutional rights? I, this is the argument. You know, again, it's not reason. It's not logic. It's, it's, it's pure emotion. The funniest thing, though, is that, and not, not necessarily funny haha, more like funny irony, is that it's Zachary Caballero who says, that right to carry holders are, are the ones who are fearful. They're the ones who are afraid. I got to tell you, I know a lot of right to carry holders. Not one of them would I describe as being fearful about what my, uh, life might throw at them. It, it, I mean, honestly, Mr. Caballero, it's people like you who are afraid. You're afraid of your fellow students. You're afraid of faculty members. You're afraid of staffers if they happen to be right to carry holders. And it doesn't matter that in Texas, the uh, statistics show the right to carry holders are far more law abiding than the general population. You, um, you don't seem to care about the facts. What matters to you seem to be your feelings. And your feelings tell you uh, that uh, campus carry would be a horrible idea. But again, Mr. Caballero, the uh, tragedies that you reference all occurred in places that were gun-free zones. They all occurred in places where that sign was up that said no guns allowed. And that sign, according to you, should be enough to keep you safe. If that was the case, then why stop with a no guns allowed sign? Why not just have signs posted at the entrance to uh, all, all of the entrances to the University of Texas at Austin that just says this is a bad thing free zone. You're just not allowed to do bad things. When you set foot on campus, you are required to turn on your heart light. And uh, <laughs> to go back to last hour, 
<laughs> and to, to, to shower your fellow humans with love and praise and just, you know, make that the sign. And that should work, right? Because a sign is all the protection that you need. And a policy that says, don't bring your guns on campus, that's all that you need. Mr. Caballero, I realize that in many ways, college may not seem like the real world, but let me tell you, the campus boundary does not protect you from the real world. And if you think that uh, bad things can't happen to you because you're on a campus that proclaims itself to be gun-free, if you think that means that every criminal is going to obey that sign, my friend, uh, you got a lot of learning left to do in your college career.